my garden revels. What's a little bit of wind? What's a little bit of rain when you have a good hat? Hey, I want to go over a particular garden question, especially now in the winter time that has been befuddling a lot of us rebel gardeners. It has to do with your heucheras, all those details coming up. Wait, what's a heuchera you might ask? Let's start from the very beginning. A heuchera, if you recall, is one of my favorite evergreen perennials. These are plants that last all year round. Keep their bright colored leaves. Sometimes it's in a very, very red, can be very, very orangey, very, very dark and burgundy-ish, used in containers, used in your landscape, really a versatile, hard-working, tough plant. I highly recommend them. I mean, take a look. This is Heuchera obsidian. And this is after all of that ice storm and cold and rain. It has been out in the weather and still looks quite amazing. But on the other hand, one thing I have noticed is that if you have your heuchera a good long time, a strange little thing happens to it. And the leaves might start growing further out from the plant and you might get this droopy look. And it may bother you so much that droopy, tired, weather-beaten look that you venture outside putting your best hat on to go clean it up. But here's another thing that might happen to you as well, as you'll be cleaning up your heucheras, taking off the old stems and maybe some burnt blooms, and oh, the whole plant comes off. And believe me, I know that feeling of shock followed by this despair of your heuchera just lifting off the ground. Well, I'm here to tell you that not all hope is lost. But first, let's go over cleaning the heuchera. Taking something like this and preparing it for a whole new spring growth. So first step is I want to just cut off any of the elongated growth. I want our heuchera to really grow from the center and cover all of this and not see a whole lot of stems. So I am literally going to go and cut off all of these elongated stems. stop here for a moment and take a look at what we have. I've, I've sheared off those elongated stems, but notice I have this little bit of a crown. And as your heuchera's age, oftentimes they'll have multiple crowns around it, all kind of growing on top of each other. So we get this raising out of the soil. And this crowning, this high growth is when it becomes really dangerous 
for our Hikras to survive the winter weather. And here's what we literally want to do with this rising crown is just to bury it with some good potting soil. And for heucheras, it's quite all right to bury that stem. The new growth will pop right out of the soil. Need another example? Here's a heuchera red lightning. Has those gorgeous, gorgeous red veining on that yellow leaf, which can be really striking. Now this crown, as you can see, is quite loose and it can easily just pop out with enough wind or gust to just literally pull it out of the ground. By adding soil right on top of that crown, it gives it a little bit of security to stay in the ground. In another example, remember I told you about those heucheras that are many years old. Here I've cut off a lot of these stems. And this is a heuchera marmalade. It has that orangey color in the fall, which is really a standout. But I can see that this needs to be really repotted and reburied a bit deeper. By doing that, we'll have a much more magnificent heuchera for the spring, summer, and fall. Noticing I'm burying it quite deep. Here is the crown. And lastly, remember that heuchera that just popped out of the ground while we were cleaning? Well, because we caught it early, we can see that there are still roots on there. Here's the solution. One small important point is if your heuchera in your hanging basket is looking marvelous, just keep going. No need to cut that back when it is doing so particularly well. You can do this trick, believe it or not, any time of the year. Guys, that's the tips and tricks for this week. Always live your passion. There's nothing like a good hat. <laughs>